Psalm 23 is probably the most well-known of all the Psalms. Yet we can become so familiar with it that we could probably sometimes lose some of the truths that God actually wants us to live by. In this month's Lamp and Light, we'll be revisiting this marvelous scripture because there's so much in there that can bless our lives on a daily basis. Verse 1 of Psalm 23, the psalmist David sets the stage. Here our Lord is pictured as a shepherd and we are his sheep. Now, we may not like the analogy that we are sheep. It might hurt our feelings, it might offend some of us, but if we're really honest with ourselves, we'll know it's true. We are inclined to be self-destructive. We like going our own way and we like to do our own thing. But now let's talk about the shepherd, a good shepherd. John 10, 11 refers to God as our good shepherd. And a good shepherd doesn't just watch over sheep, but also cares for the sheep. A good shepherd will take the sheep to where the food is or shelter them from storms. A good shepherd protects the sheep from other animals that wants to eat them. But because the shepherd is there, the sheep are fed, they're protected and comforted. That sounds like a pretty good life, right? That is why the psalmist David, who by the way was once a shepherd himself, can make such a powerful statement such as, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That means when he is our shepherd, we will not want. We'll be in need of nothing. He'll supply all our needs and he'll grant the desires of our hearts. For the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That's it. We should make that a decree by which we live, right? But it might be challenging because we constantly live in a lack mentality where we might always be thinking about what we haven't done or we don't have or we haven't yet accomplished but this psalm is telling us that it doesn't matter what we haven't done or we haven't accomplished god is enough our god is enough when he's leading us and he's guiding us we will not be lacking so this month we're discussing psalm 23 and it's a very popular psalm it's some people would say common, but it is so powerful because it's the word of God. Yeah. And it's a wonderful topic and we're going through the chapter this month. So this week we would have done verse one. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And it makes reference to God being a shepherd because he is our good shepherd and we are his sheep. So the discussion question is, what does it mean to be sheep? Well, I think that we should first look at or consider the behavior or the characteristics of sheep. They're actually prone to wandering around the place or looking for satisfaction in artificial places. Um, which if we compare that to human beings, it would be that we would be wandering around exactly, the place yeah. looking for satisfaction maybe in our career or love or money, <laughs> any sort of accomplishment, stuff like that. Yeah, and that's, and that's the thing. It was stated in the devotional as well, you know, it's not to get offended. We, we are similar. We do wander around. We do our own thing. We get in trouble. We get vexed with God. But the reality is that God, our good shepherd, didn't lead us there. And we need God. Exactly though. In order for us to see God as our shepherd, we have to see ourselves as his sheep. We have to open our eyes. We have to be able to recognize how much we need him in our lives. Yeah. And the thing is, God loves us and he wants best for us. We are his disciples, we are his sheep, and we follow him. We are to follow him. And it, it can't be that we follow him sometimes, and then we do our own thing sometimes. Mm -hmm. That's not what it means mm -hmm. to be sheep. We follow him all the, all time. the time. So when David says, I shall not want, he is acknowledging how completely reliant he is on God, his good shepherd. And this is something that I think many people, including me, make that, we make that mistake or we make that error where we are not completely reliant on God, mm. the good shepherd. Yeah. So, and it, as sheep, we must cultivate that spirit of dependence, yeah. knowing that we go to God for everything. 
it's the only one we go to and it's not as you said earlier it's a, a dependence on something else so it's not that okay i will go to god yes i'm following god but i'm really relying on my education or well, i'm going yeah. to god i'm really relying on my abilities yeah so having him like as a after like a plan b a backup thing that's not what no. it is to be sheep you rely on your connections Correct. with god the good shepherd he is the one who is leading us yeah that we shall not want so it can't be that you do we do our own thing we don't follow god as, as we are supposed to as his disciples and then something goes astray god isn't leading us there correct but that's us leading us that's yeah. us leading us and not relying on fully and being yeah. fully dependent on the good shepherd yeah and something that we should note is that this is a very personal a very individual thing it's not general at all as his sheep he is my shepherd mm -hmm. yes he's our shepherd but he's my shepherd yeah. he's becky shepherd yeah. it doesn't say the lord is the shepherd of the world at large and <laughs> lead it forth the multitude as his flock but it says the lord is my shepherd yeah and the entire chapter is very personal and that's that's what we want to encourage you and we are encouraged encouraging ourselves actually keep it personal because this is God's word for us and the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want mm -hmm. he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters but that's next week we'll do that next week God's willing so get to reading Psalm 23 and get to your discussion and we'll catch you all next week